This video shows how to measure using the Teshcon SpectraDens using Chromix software. Teshcon has added the ability to scan a whole row of patches at once using the rollers on the bottom of the SpectraDens. This scanning function is only available on the premium version of the instrument. The SpectraDens works in our interface as easily as any other instrument. So go ahead and follow the screen prompts for selecting an instrument and target. In order to get the target definition file to show up here, choose Open Target Folder, which opens up the Target Reference Files folder, and place the target definition reference in the folder for the Spectra Dens. If you already have a target definition file for a different instrument, you can likely use that with the Spectra Dens and it should work just fine. One of the great new features of our measurement tool is that it can use reference files from different manufacturers, even sources different from the tool you're using. For example, if you have a reference file for an ISIS or an i1 Pro or a Barbieri LFP or something, you, you can use many of those to measure using the Spectra Dens. Notice I can use a Barbieri zip file, an i1 Profiler TXF file, or the workflow file in i1 Profiler, the PWXF and other types too. The bottom of the screen lists the measurement parameters that are available to you. The Spectra Dens can do all four measurement modes, including M3. Clicking the buttons at the bottom, you can usually hear the filters change in the instrument at the same time. RF is for reflective measurements, which is appropriate for the Spectra Dens. A lot of these options are grayed out if they're not applicable to your instrument. Of course, an instrument like this can be used in spot mode, one patch at a time, or in scan or strip mode. If you're measuring using the Maxwell client, some of these options might be grayed out by your company administrator so that you use the measurement mode they want you to. In scanning mode, start with the measuring tube directly in the middle of the first patch of the first row. Click and hold the green measurement button on the instrument and slide it across the page to the middle of the last patch of the row. Some other handhelds would have you start in the white space before and end in the white space after. The Spectra Dens wants you to start directly on the patch. Newer versions of this software will have a little bullseye and crosshairs to show where you're to start and end. As it says, you can scan right to left or left to right, whichever you want. The software will automatically figure out where to place the patches. If you make a mistake, you can use the arrows to step up to a previous row and measure again. Also note that the Spectra Dens has a way of detecting if it thinks you made a poor reading, and it might stay on the row you just finished without advancing. So pay close attention to what's on the screen so you can be sure you're measuring the row you're supposed to be measuring. You do have the option of measuring in strip mode or one by one in spot mode. You could even measure the whole target one spot measurement at a time if you wanted to. When you're done, click the green measurement button again to save the measurement or click save in the software here. If you're in the Maxwell client and taking a production measurement, then you might see a small colored tick mark in the corner of some patches. This lets you know which patches are outside of tolerances. You would not be seeing these marks if you're using another app. If your measurement is way off, you might get a message asking you, are you sure you're measuring the right target? And you can go ahead and submit if you're sure. Layout. Ah, a new feature unique to this measuring mode is the ability to rotate the target in the preview to match the way you want to measure. After you finish the measurement, the file will be output in its normal ordering of patches like it's supposed to have. Uh, say maybe the only reference I have for this P2P target is intended for an instrument that measures vertically like an ISIS, but I find it more efficient to measure horizontally. If you are rows to read, well, I can rotate the target and measure it this way if I want. So this just makes it very handy to measure targets that lay out differently in the reference file than the way you want to measure. The Spectra Dens can also be run wirelessly. This involves a considerably more involved setup process. It requires a Windows operating system and additional software installed. So contact us if you're interested in that.